We all know that Peter Griffin is pretty fat. Oh yeah? Well I challenge you to prove to me that I'm fat. So recently I watched a YouTube video where Brian makes fun of Peter for being so massive that he has his own gravitational field. See this? Yeah. You know what it is? Uh, yeah, it's an apple. Good, good, good. All right, watch this. And if we look at this clip carefully, we actually stand a pretty good chance of figuring out his actual mess. So if we take a look at Peter's belly, I'm going to say that it's probably half a meter wide. So just to simplify our calculation, I'm going to say the apple's orbital radius is roughly one meter. If I slow this clip right down, I can work out the orbital time period. So let's do that. So when the apple passes his arm, that is 0 0.15 seconds. We're going to wait for the apple to come around again to make one orbit. And that is... 0 0.18 seconds. So that gives me three seconds for the orbital time period. I think we're ready. We have a few numbers to work with and so let's do the math. The orbital radius is one meter and we have a time period of three seconds. With the assumption that this is a perfect circular orbit, we can work out the orbital speed by doing the uh, circumference of the circle and dividing that by the time period. So that becomes 2 pi r divided by 3, that is uh, 2 pi times 1. So we get 2 thirds pi as the orbital speed. Let's keep that as a fraction right now. The gravitational force between two objects is given by the equation um, force is gmm or m1, m2 over r squared. And not only do we have this equation, we also have a second equation for force because we know that there must be a centripetal force keeping the apple in a circular orbit. And the equation is F is mv squared over r. In this equation, m is m2, or you can think of it as the mass of the apple. The gravitational force is what supplies the centripetal force to keep the apple in orbit. So we can equate the two equations. So gm1 m2 over r squared is equal to m2 v squared over r. And I have a feeling some of these are going to cancel out so that we don't have to worry about some of the unknowns. So m2 appears on both sides of the equation, so we can take that out. So m1 is equal to v squared r divided by g. And don't forget capital G is the gravitational constant, and that is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. So let's plug some numbers in. We calculated the orbital speed to be 2 thirds pi, so we need to square that, and we multiply that by r, which is 1, divide that by the gravitational constant, then we get 2 divided by 3, so we get 6.58 times 10 to the power of 10 kilograms. Peter, you gotta be on a diet! So his mass is of the order 10 to the power of 10 kilograms. Oh, that's a bunch of crap.